Tonight, our I-Team takes on accusations of an Enbridge cover-up. Last July, a pipeline owned by Enbridge ruptured in Marshall, sending hundreds of thousands of gallons of oil into West Michigan's waterways. Now a former Enbridge employee is blowing the whistle on the company, accusing it of covering up oil. One former worker is doing everything possible to get his story out there. A former worker blowing the whistle on Enbridge takes News Channel 3 on a tour of sites he claims still have oil, but the company is not coming back to clean up. John Bolenball still finds ice packed with oil and is making strong accusations against the company. They were trying to meet deadlines, so what they would tell us to do is take dirt, put it over the top of the oil. They were telling us to take mud with uh, oil and throw it into the woods. They're telling us to rake dirt over the top of oil. And he says because he wouldn't do those things, he was fired in October after two months on cleanup operations. But Bolenbaugh believes the so-called smoking gun is near Tomage Creek in Ground Zero in Marshall. I just wanted to prove that this is, ugh, ugh, this is all oil. It is all oil. This is not mud. Mud will freeze. No, that is not oil. That, that's sediment. It's mud. That's what he's standing in is mud. All right. See, there's no sheen. The reason why that's important is because when I dig down, the oil is underneath the sand. See it coming up? It's under the sand. It's yeah. not in the sand. It's under the sand that they put there. Can you see that? Yeah. The whole thing. It's all oil. See this? They put this over this entire area. It's all canvas. They plant grass underneath of it. The grass will pop through. This is all oil. I don't like doing this. Jeez. But the only way I'm going to get people's attention is to do this. I think this if you were a kid, I think if you were a kid playing right now and you fell in that, a little kid out here by yourself. You'd be done. You'd be, you'd be stuck and you'd die. They buried all this oil and now because of my videos they're redigging it out. Okay, watch this. I'm going to dig deep and you'll see the oil. It's all coming out. It's completely under the river. Can everybody see that? It's really thick. Watch. See that? You can't deny that's oil. This whole place is full of it. And they said it's clean. Wednesday, October 26, 2011. Messeresco Dam just showing you that there is no boom, no workers. Uh, got a clean glove, nothing on it. I'm just going to stick it in and try to grab some of this oil. And that's what's underneath all this dirt. And uh, let me say also, I hope to see you out on the river. And Thank you for coming. And I hope you don't go on the river. It's still full of oil. Kalamazoo River, 21 miles away from where the spill is. We're right over by Clark Road Bridge. This is what they're telling you, everybody. It makes me sick to my stomach. Eat safe fish from the Kalamazoo River. Fish are part of a healthy diet. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's oil right that's there. That's oil right one. there. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, we actually did. Damn, I didn't see that. I mean, come on, that's all oil. That's yeah. not how they look. No, they're usually pretty white. Yeah, they're, they're pretty. pretty. Yeah. That's a good fish. This here is contaminated, full of oil. All through there, you can see how 
It's completely black. Then here we have a catfish. It's got a tumor right in over here. Oil spots everywhere. Who's eating them? Who's Nobody eating those down. delicious fish? Nobody, Nobody down. I would have been. I would have been if I wouldn't have seen that. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'd have still been eating them to this day because they said it was okay for us to eat. Bullshit. Not seeing shit like that. What was your some of your symptoms that you had after um, the oil spill? I had uh, three seizures at the other I house. I had a seizure for the first time in my life. And then my son actually had seizures passing out. I even took him to the ER and... And once they said the spill was cleaned up already, uh, I let her swim and drink and everything uh, out of the river like she always did before. And now we have this massive tumor on her chest. Oh my God. NPR, National Public Radio. Uh, CTV News in Vancouver. And this is what you're gonna see float to the surface. You can see this sheen with the naked eye, even droplets of oil that are floating in the water all around us. Film crew from New York, and just showing them tar sand oil still in the river. We're at Soresco Dam, and just to show you, it's October 18, 2013. Uh, darn tiger's lost. But I just want to show everybody. A clean glove here. Yep. And basically, I, I just stirred it up. I'm going to try to grab some chunks of oil. This area is just full of oil. That's why EPA is making Enbridge re-dredge this because kids are swallowing drops of this oil and the MSDS sheet specifically says it can kill you, cause seizures, coma, liver damage, kidney damage, on and on. Leukemia, cancer. Do you want your fish to have this? Do you want your kids to have this in their body? You think that's clean? No, you stink like oil too. It like it's it reeks of oil. Makes, as soon as you walked out of there. Makes you want to puke. October 22nd, 2013, downtown Battle Creek, Michigan, Kalamazoo River. They said it was clean in 2012. Of course, we know that it's not. Why? Because I made complaints, took reporters out, and uh, now look at what they're doing. This is right downtown, all this massive amount of oil. October 22nd, 2013, with uh, Tyler. Just documenting that they're recleaning up the river. Uh, everybody knows why they're doing it. Um, all the complaints I made. It's the third time they've recleaned this up. Just in this one area, you're talking about tens of millions of dollars in cleanup costs.
Um, Enbridge is obviously still cleaning up this river that didn't have, you know, anything in it. You know, according to them, everything was safe and clean. Um, we're still not drinking our, our water. Um, it's been four years. After the oil spill, you had a miscarriage. Yes. And you said it was? It was bad. I almost ended up dying. My liver, spleen, pancreas, uterus, and gallbladder had gotten infected. And the hospital told me if I had gotten there six hours later, I probably would have been dead. It was like exorcist vomiting. And when did this happen? Shortly after the oil spill, a couple of days after. But I've heard rumors that other people have lost their kids due to the oil spill too. What company are you so mad at? Enbridge themselves. I don't understand. Everybody thinks, Ember says that they're doing a great job. Yeah, they're doing a great job at covering up. You know, and they're saying it's not dangerous. Why are we still getting sick? And they won't give me answers. Oh, it's clean, it's safe, it's this, it's that. Live here then. Tell me it's clean and it's safe. The, the oil and gas industry, the dishonesty that these people possess in the in the things that they do that are detrimental to communities is almost beyond belief and they have no uh, compassion whatsoever they have no honesty they have no pride and they uh, they're worried about the bottom line the bottom line is the bottom line what's your opinion about the media uh, with the Battle Creek spell what media I mean it's they've totally neglected the whole reporting of it I don't think they're being honest about it I don't think that they're caring enough they're not doing any research they're not coming out no media's come to talk to anyone around my neighborhood that i know of and we're right at the river Enbridge lies i bought almost a thousand signs and I bought tar sand truth signs and the reason why I did that is because I need to get the word out. I bought $10,000 in t-shirts out of my pocket. Um, I'm not sure why I do this but I have a passion. I feel this is my purpose in life. I feel like and, and I don't like to be called a liar and when they said that I was lying that oil wasn't being covered up um, I proved them wrong. I proved them wrong so much that I'm costing them hundreds of millions of dollars and and I've had, I've had probably a lot more than a a couple hundred million, but well, I'm being conservative. I'm yeah. just talking about cleanup cost. If I were you're gonna be, you know, with a pair of concrete shoes and the bottom of a river somewhere, they they tried to scare me. I've had several death threats. I've had all four of my tires slashed. I've had my brakes messed with a couple times. I've been assaulted on video. I've been trapped into a parking lot on video by several workers. Um, this is very on scary. On property that you had permission to be on. That yes. Was near the, the rupture site. Yeah, and they didn't have permission to be there, and they were kicked off the property. Yeah, when the owner found out right. what was going on, he gave them the boot. Right. Ambridge yeah. thinks that they, they own the show. They yep. think when there's a spill, they own that community. And basically, Helper.org is fighting for our water. It's investigating the truth. It's exposing the truth with video proof. But I didn't do this for me. This isn't about me. This isn't about John Bolenbaugh. This is about you and you and you, all of you that are here today. This is about all of you, and that's what I'm fighting for. That's why I'm risking my life for this.